Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Okay, somehow I did. So, uh, <clears throat> SFCC platform. So, SFCC platform is like a, it's cloud uh, deployed. Everything is on cloud. So, uh, it's like uh, in real time, uh, customers has to purchase from SFCC so that they will be having a setup called RELM. So a RELM contains the segmentations of development, staging and production. So each and every, uh, I think in, this is common in other, other e-commerce development as well. So it is better to have these three uh, environments separately and which can be helpful uh, for the development process. So that uh, will be segregated from the uh, hardware called RELM. So RELM is a segmentation for development, staging, production for one or more storefront. For example, if organization uh, can have one or two uh, brands in, within their organization, so they can have, uh, they can run one or two brands uh, storefront. Storefronts is nothing but website over here. So the storefronts they can run uh, using one realm they can able to run by creating multiple sites okay inside a realm you do this is just uh, a theory and you can you will be understanding in later part just uh, have an idea that a realm plays a role over here for making the environment difference like development staging and production okay and then every realm includes primary instance group that is PAG and uh, other instance group like totally there are three PAG SIG okay and the PAG instance groups are production staging and development these are the three uh, instance group which is available inside the PAG they are calling it as primary instance group in production production is nothing but most of you as you are having good experience so you can understand that production is nothing but the live instance which is the actual e-commerce storefront is running. This is like a part of like a database where it is running your current uh, in layman terms. I'm saying that it's like a database, but it is not actually a database. It's a, it's a sandbox and it is an allocation for the realm. So it is running that e-commerce storefront. So the live instance will be running from the production and we have staging. So staging instances, having the configurations and data enrichment, data import and uploading your code and testing the development instances, okay. Staging, um, there are multiple keywords here, but you can later, you can uh, try to catch up when I'm trying to share the slides. And, but for your understanding, you have to understand staging plays a major role on data enrichment, like data transferring data uh, to the development and to the production it takes care by the staging environment. I am not very sure, maybe in other e-commerce perspective, data can be transferred from development to staging, staging to production. But here, the say, system is set up like say, whatever the data. Data means nothing but like some configurations. You can, for now, you can understand it's like a configuration. Some configuration is configured in an instance and that has to be replicated in different instance okay so that will be uh, available only on the staging as per the sfcc platform so you have to understand this point like data import data enrichment and instance configuration uh, everything is belongs to the staging environment you cannot do data uh, modification or configuration modification directly into the production uh, we can do but it is not advisable as per the SFCC standpoint okay so development is like a uh, development is an another instance which is under same PAG okay it's like a instance to test the process mostly QA team will use the development that is what only for testing purposes we need to use the development instance but in uh, real time as I am working on real time projects so few projects development uh, they won't test they will test on staging QS will test on staging and uh, they will test on production but they won't uh, 
least bother about the development. But SFCC is advised to test only on the development instance and not on the staging instance. Because uh, uh, if for example, uh, person A is committing some code and it is already in the staging. Person B has to commit the code and it is having some issue. We cannot push it directly to the staging. Okay, we have to push it to the development that code and then they have to test it and then they have to release to the staging and then it has to push to the production. That is how it should work. Data only we are supposed to do it in the staging directly. Coding perspectives we can do it in the development. So based on the need of uh, deployments. Okay, this about uh, this one. Why? Because uh, um, staging also one another future is available in the SFCC. So they have uh, like uh, um, in in late night of US uh, time zone, there there will be replication will be happened automatically from the staging to the production. So if something uh, for testing purposes, if any code is pushed and or the code, the, if there is any prerequisite on configuring the data, if you are doing the configuration on US uh, daytime and if you forget to uh, revoke that, it will be automatically pushed to the production on the uh, US uh, night, night time. Maybe you are, I'm telling it's US time zone, but mostly it is uh, developed uh, on the US time zone, but I uh, have to understand the time zone of sandbox. Each and every sandbox will have a time zone. So for that particular time zone in late hours, it will be pushed automatically to the production. To avoid that confusion, you need to uh, do it on the development. The testing is, it needs to be done on the development. Once development is confirmed, then only you have to push it to the staging, okay, the code and the configuration, okay. So this is about these three instances. So the mainly on that uh, uh, replication part you need to take care. That's why they are giving heads up on the, the platform overview. Okay, I'm moving to the next slide. So we have spoken about primary instance group. Now we are talking about secondary instance group. Each and every realm has a primary instance group and a secondary instance group. So in secondary instance group, we, uh, there will be a maximum of 32 sandboxes can be created in one realm. Okay? So it can be on-demand sand. It, can, it is like a physical sandbox and in, uh, one more thing is like on-demand sandbox. Now, to, uh, they are like, uh, previously it is like uh, they wanted to create a sandbox and they cannot, uh, there will be a maximum limit of 32 and above, above that limit they cannot actually provide you the sandbox and then uh, it is like um, if once created you are, it is charged to the customer. I am telling the background to you as I know. So I am telling background of this why this SAG and uh, what is that happening because someone will be in charge on doing these things in the future. So I am explaining. So uh, there is a concept called on-demand sandbox. They have created uh, recently or maybe a year or so they have uh, introduce that on-demand sandbox. What that on-demand sandbox will does, you can able to activate your sandbox and you can able to run for one hour. For one hour alone, uh, Salesforce will charge to you and then on the next uh, hour, if you are uh, make, stopping that uh, sandbox by your own, there, there are some APIs to stop the sandbox. If you stop, the uh, SFCC or Salesforce uh, will not charge to your customer or to your organization. So they are having some concept. So those sandboxes are called secondary instance group uh, sandboxes and here the terminology is given like old concept but you have to understand currently we have on-demand sandboxes also. Their performance will be lo lower than the PAG instance group that is what mentioned here. So you know right um, if they are creating any server, it's, uh, production server should be high configuration and other uh, development server can be a less configuration, same concept over here. So PAG will surely will have a lesser performance, lesser memory and storage than the, uh, sorry, SAG will have the lesser performance, lesser memory and storage than the PAG instance group. Because PAG is mostly on the organization perspective and SAG will be provided to the developers. So it is, uh, 
it will be having some performance issue maybe sometimes uh, you can in real time if you are uh, trying to pull complete configuration from the staging and trying to import into your sandbox sometimes it will be broken or so you need to take care of those part and then you have to work uh, proactively how uh, best you can do with the available performance or available memory so you have to understand that SIG uh, are only provided to the actual developers so shed uh, he has created some sandbox for the developers and we also tested right those are the SIG sandboxes so uh, yeah it has to be created and it has to be used so here the main point is that will be having a performance issue okay or memory storage apart from the uh, PAG okay so this is clear right so what is PAG and what is SIG you are clear correct okay so uh, this is the architectural diagram what we are discussed I have given here in the architectural diagram so this is the data center you know right Salesforce having their own data centers and uh, from the data centers this is like a pod these are like a network uh, uh, perspective diagrams so you know you don't need to bother about these things you need to bother about the below part but uh, just uh, for your understanding how it works in real time they will be having a data center in each data center they will be uh, having a pod a pod will be allocated to a realm it is called a realm okay in this realm we will be having the PAG instance group that is primary instance group and secondary instance instance group so one is like in primary instance group we will be having development staging and production in secondary instance group we will be having like uh, uh, sandboxes that is uh, developer sandboxes as I said on demand sandbox or actual sandbox which is created for the developers so that is SIG and yeah this diagrams or arrow marks shows whatever I have explained so uh, developers are doing their coding and then uh, they are doing their configuration and it will be pushed to the staging from staging it will be moved to the development for testing if development is fast and then it will be moved to the production okay this is the picture picture uh, representation of what we have discussed on previous two slides thanks for watching the video for full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.